Well, Dan Tarwater, obviously uh, well known in Jackson County for his several decades uh, in the legislature. He worked with the Royals and the Chiefs in redoing the leases back in 2006 on both teams to keep them in Jackson County. Well, now we know the Royals are considering a move out of Jackson County. They've got their two final locations. One, of course, is in Jackson County in the East Village downtown. The other is in North Kansas City. Which one is it going to be? We don't know, uh, but obviously Dan Tarwater, who's been involved with this for the last several decades at this point, has some thoughts. I wanted to bring him on here on KCMO Talk Radio. Dan, great to have you on the show. Hope you're doing well. And take me through this process from a Jackson County perspective on why you think this team should remain in this county. Well, good morning, Pete. Thank you very much for giving me a call today. Um, this process right now is being driven by the Royals, you know, which is great. You saw their, uh, you saw both of their renderings that both look look excellent. Looks like a place you'd love to go visit. Um, but they still have they, they still haven't made a decision on where they want to go. Mm-hmm. In the past, what we did is we held meetings in different parts of the county. I believe there were six meetings where all the community was involved. And Jackson County was driving the process to uh, you know to extend the leases, to extend the monies going to the teams, and uh, you know basically put the burden back on the teams instead of the taxpayers for all upgrades, you know, for state of the art and other things that were coming up. So we got all that done in 2006, but it was because we took the leadership to go out to the public to get groups together, uh, hired, you know, a consulting firm that would drive the process, you know, keep all the GCs in line and, uh, you know, get the most bang for the buck for the taxpayers. Hmm. In this case, it seems to be, the Royals are saying we want this, but they don't exactly know what they want. They don't know how much money they want, and they believe that they you know, extend the 3-8 sales tax. Right now, I don't know if people will vote for that. With all the other things that are going on in Jackson County and you know, basically around everywhere, you have super high inflation. You have a tax debacle run by uh, the county executive right now. And, you know, people are concerned about their homes, not about the home of the Royals. So we have to be very careful and cautious. Of, are the people going to vote for it? They could say they can make their choice and then want to take it to the vote of the people and the people would vote it down. So they, they need to they need to start getting involved with the county needs to start getting involved if, in fact, they want to do this. Well, that's interesting because, you know, we know that last week when Rob Manfred was in town, the Major League Baseball commissioner, and they were, you know, kind of taking him around both stadium sites, I found it interesting that uh, Jackson County leadership and and Kansas City, Missouri leadership was not in attendance. Meantime, Clay County had everybody and anybody there. What does that tell you about where Jackson County is at in this process and trying to keep the Royals? Well, what it tells me is there seems to be a lack of leadership right now. I don't know if if the right hand knows what the left hand is doing, so they need to they need to pick that up. And the Royals and others need to understand those leases because you know the the first part of it is if they extend the tax, the Chiefs get half of it. So I don't know if the Royals right now are thinking that they're going to get all eight hundred and fifty million or if they're going to get four twenty five. You know, they they've said eight fifty. So that's not the way that lease works. So they're going to need to work with the chiefs. They're going to need to separate those leases. But the other part is in that lease is a penalty clause because we did give those teams, you know, $550 million to, uh, to work on both those stadiums in 2006. And in there is a penalty provision. And that was if the teams move out of Jackson County, all game revenues, you know, everything, parking and everything, will go back to Jackson County until 2031. So you read that they want to have this new stadium open by 2028. So do they understand that the, they are not going to make any money and all that money will go to the county because you have to pay off the bonds that are extended to 2031. You also may have to go to the state to get that three-eighths sales tax extended and then the approval, then go to the voters. 
both of those things, I'm not sure, are winners right now. They can be. Hmm. Now, why would they have to go to the state to get a sales tax on a ballot at the county level? The the state had to okay the three eight sales tax uh, figure to be put on the ballot, ah. and then the county would vote to put it on the ballot. Okay, but they have to get the they had to get the approval of the state. I would have to look into it a little more. I don't know if they can just extend it mm-hmm. or if it does sunset. Because the other thing that the teams do get, you know, which was negotiated with the state and the city at the time, all three entities, the state, the city, and the county, signed that lease along with the teams. And that was because the state gives $3 million a year. You know, it's tourism uh, that the team receives. The county gives $3 million a year. And the city gives $2 million a year. So they get a total of $8 million for, you know, upgrade, upkeep um, of the stadium, hmm. you know, of both stadiums. Yeah. So are, are they going to ask for that to be renewed? If it goes somewhere else, they're going to lose the revenue until 2031, unless they work out a buyout, which no one's really talking about. And then are they going to go to the state to ask for more money? Are they going to ask for tax credits? How's the financing going to work? I mean, we, we have a lot of questions out there. And I'm not saying downtown baseball isn't a good idea. I mean, I think it would be cool. And yes, you would get a spike in attendance at first for people wanting to come see the place, you know, see the, see the new area. And, you know, maybe go to the bars before the game, your know, restaurant, those kind of things. But when you look at an event, which we did in 2006 to develop around the stadium, what we found out, you know, through a lot smarter people than me uh, out of uh, Chicago and also out of New York, was people go to these games as an, you know, a destination to go to a game. So they, they invest three hours of their time in a baseball game, you know, or four hours in a football game, and you see people starting to leave in the seventh, eighth, ninth inning. Why? Not to go to the bars. They want to get out, out and beat the traffic to get home, to get closer to their home. So are people going to stay around for you know a great new bar district, and which will take away from power and light, which is being subsidized right now by the taxpayers to the tune of about 20 to $25 million a year, uh, and you develop a new area for people to go to, and really, you, you only have events there for during the baseball season. What happens after the baseball season? Are people going there? Are they going to Power and Light? Are they going to the new one where there's a Ferris wheel? You know, well, there's only so many dollars, and right now those dollars are being squeezed in other ways. Well, yeah, no. Dan Tarwater is uh, on the show, former Jackson County legislator for uh, almost thirty years, and. Um, was involved in 2006 when that tax got passed uh, to upgrade Kauffman Stadium and Arrowhead. So you're making the case, Dan, for the Royals to stay at Kauffman Stadium, it sounds like to me. But they basically say that there's no chance that that happens. I guess the only way that happens is if somehow they can't get a sales tax extended or put on in clay for improvements in either location because they made it clear that they can't fund $2 billion or don't want to fund $2 billion on their own, right? I mean, that's the only way, but that's the case that it sounds like to me you're making. I am making the case that if they're not spending all of their own money, I'm not sure that the taxpayers are going to help spend their own money for the stadium to go downtown. You did see some of the surveys um, in North Kansas City and Clay, Uh, and it looked like 70% of the people are opposed to paying any type of sales tax. Their sales tax would have to be higher than the one in Jackson County just because it's a smaller area. Yeah. So they, they would end up paying a little bit more for a beautiful stadium, uh, in North Kansas city. And would it help economically? Yes. You know, I mean, it it can help for, you know, businesses around there. They're going to own the land directly around the stadium and they're going to build their own thing and then have their own uh, streams of revenue, you know, that will come back in to the ownership group, you know, and maybe also, you know, for um, you know, spending more money on players. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. 
But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not just building a stadium. What you have with those stadiums is uh, millions and millions of dollars every year that has to go into those stadiums for maintenance and upkeep because people have to be safe when they go to a stadium. Uh, and you have you know, major uh, outlay for security and other things that go along with having a stadium. So is North Kansas City looking at all of those things? You know, we all would love a stadium, you know, whether it be on the Kansas side, whether it be North Kansas City or it's in Jackson County. We have to keep these, both these teams. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they are Kansas City. They are Jackson County. And we did everything we possibly could to keep them in 2006. It was close. Yeah. And then we were able to extend it and go on. That brings in a lot of people to the area, but it also brings in businesses because it gives the executives something to do. So, uh, you know, charities, other things are all benefited by having teams here. But how much more do they benefit by moving it from one area to another area? It's the same people. Mm -hmm. So we need to talk about what's driving this. And I think the biggest thing that's driving it is they're looking for other streams of revenue around the ballpark. Yes. They're also looking at, you know, call it fair, call it unfair. Don't know. I'll leave it up to the people. Once those things are built, most likely what they would do is basically give the area back to the county, Jackson or Clay, and then why would they do that? You know, for a dollar. Why would they do that? Because then they don't pay personal property tax your know, property tax on that development site. Everyone sees, you know, when your property value goes up, you know, and your house, your two hundred thousand dollar home is now three hundred thousand, your taxes go up along with that. Well, their taxes aren't they don't have any taxes. So you're going to take an area that could generate tax revenue, you know, for the city and infrastructure and other needs and and make it so that it doesn't pay anything. Last, and then all the money that they get goes to them. Mm-hmm. Last thing, Dan, I got a minute here. Crime, how do you think that plays a role in the Royals' considerations here between Jackson and Clay? Well, <laughs> um, Kansas City doesn't even get a grip on crime. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's not a popular idea amongst people found out running for city council. Um, is the police need the support. The police need, you know, when they arrest people, they can't get disheartened by having them let out of jail two hours later, you know, for their 13th stolen auto. Um, there, there has to be a timeout for people because it seems to be the only thing that works. Mm-hmm. So I would say crime, they're not thinking about the crime part of it yet, but they would be once they, once they build their stadium. Mm-hmm. Is one area area safer than the other? You know, by the time you get something built and the infrastructure around it, it's going to be safe wherever it is. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Dan Tarwater, great to have you on, Dan. Thanks so much. Pete, thank you very much. Great to talk to you and uh, look forward to next time. Thank you. You bet. Good stuff with Dan Tarwater on KCMO Talk Radio.